Our geeks present character mug. Ah! Hello! Hi! Hey everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to take your pinch pot, this humble little critter right here, and give it some character. Um, first start off by thinking about the pot in terms of human anatomy at the beginning. Um, one of the cool things about this project, things that I really like, is the mouth of the pot becomes the mouth of your character mug. We're going to put a face on this thing. So you might think about like, you know, if I have my mouth like this, I'm screaming, oh, or maybe I'm singing. Um, if I kind of just a little bit, and you see how little cracks developing right there? That happens all the time. All you have to do is just remember, hey, a little bit of satin hands, one finger on top, two fingers on the sides, and take care of the chapped lips. Take care of it early because the cracks that form in the surface here will actually work their way down into the body of the pot. So do take care of those things. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to kind of stretch with my mouth. Now I've got a pot that smiles. Hello. And I could also have, just by turning it over, kind of a pot that frowns. It just depends, like, do I want to put my eyes and nose over here? Uh -huh. Or do I want to put my eyes and nose over here? Today, I think I want sad pot. Mm -hmm. Sad pot in there. I also have to determine what's going to go inside this thing. Um, sometimes like, I'll make like little candy dishes. It'll go like this. This guy, I think I'm going to make a little pot that'll be able to hold a pencil sharpener inside of it, and then also pencil shavings. And this can go on one of the tables in the drawing and painting room. So I've got this little pot like this, and I think for a pencil sharpener and shavings, I kind of want it to go like this. So I'm just going to pat the bottom down where I see it happening. So we're, we have a little bit of a lift right here, but basically it's a pot that's sitting on its side. Not all pots or mugs have to sit straight up. You know, you can have things that sit like this. So anyway, he's very sad. He's very sad. The first thing to think about when you're doing the character mug is to really think about topography in terms of where are the hills and valleys in the face? Could you bring it around to me? I'm going to do a little hill and valley here. Okay, so our hills and valleys on our face, we have a bony ridge right up here, and it has our eyebrows on it. So really think about when you're thinking about eyebrows, don't just think about it as like fur above your eyes. There's a bony visor up there, kind of like a baseball cap visor. So there's a piece of topography, kind of like a ridge line. Here, I've got a major piece of topography. There's a mountain. The nose is like the Mount Everest of your face. You've got these cheeks that are like hills. You've got a chin where some of our chins are hills, some of our chins are mountains. Some of our chins have a little volcano, like Kirk Douglas. Remember Kirk Douglas? You see the, oh, yeah, Kirk Douglas movie. Yeah, big dimple in the chin. Anyway, we want to build the topography on this guy, and we're going to do a little bit of push and pull. So we're going to like, if I want the nose to stick out a little bit, I'm going to push from the inside of the pot. And if you look closely, you'll see little cracks are developing on there. And so that's going to mean a little bit more satin hands and just kind of rub it together. I'm going to do some more on top of this, but I start, I want to start to see it. I've got to bring it out a little bit. Okay. So there's a hill. The valleys are going to be those eye sockets. And so I'm just going to get some moisture on my fingers. And little by little, it kind of looks like, kind of looks like Voldemort right now, because there's really not much of a nose going on. And look, when I put those eye sockets in, the eyebrow ridge kind of comes to life. I want to think in terms of the profile. Can you see the profile of it okay right there? Yep. We're good. I want to bring, because the eyebrows stick out a little further than the bridge of the nose. And so I'm just going to start to define things. 